Good morning. Good it's morning. time for all God's children. And today I have a special friend with me. Uh, Maureen is one of our Rideau Park friends. And she is someone who has taken the journey of reconciliation with our Indigenous people very seriously and very much to heart. And so she has learned an enormous amount about um, Indigenous traditions and culture and spirituality. So when we invited Albert Dumont to come and be our guest speaker today, um, I realized that we're not going to be able to offer him the tobacco that we usually offer, as we usually offer a guest speaker from the Indigenous tradition. So I asked Maureen if she would talk to us a little bit about tobacco and the use of tobacco in ceremony. And she thought we could even dial it back a little further and talk about prayer. So, Maureen? You know, first of all, I want to say thank you, Elizabeth, for the opportunity to, um, to talk about prayer, to talk about tobacco, to, to talk about um, reconciliation, and to talk about being able to receive the gift, actually, of um, learning what it is to, uh, it's an amazing honor to listen and learn from an Indigenous person what it is that is sacred to them. And um, I, I do not identify as and was not raised as an Indigenous person. So I really am not an authority of any kind and I can only speak to my experience. The thing that, one of the things that I've come to understand about um, prayer and about the way that prayer is uh, done in indigenous communities is that it's indistinguishable from good relations with the plants and the animals and the water and the earth and the sky. And so um, there are a number of plants that are seen as sacred. And in fact, all of the planet is seen as sacred. All of the land, all of the water, everything is seen as sacred. So what does it mean to be sacred? Well, it means to have a good relationship with whatever it is that you call sacred. And so that for me is just so beautifully a parallel to what it is that I believe that Jesus wants us to understand, which is that the earth and of which we are a part is sacred. And I don't mean apart as in separate, I mean apart as in composed of. Um, and so there are four particular plants that are used in sacred indigenous ceremony that I've heard about, I'm sure there are many others, um, but four sacred plants, tobacco, sage, sweet grass, and cedar. And cedar, yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so yes, there are many, many ways to offer tobacco. One of the ways to offer, to use tobacco in a, in, in a in a sacred way is to is to offer it to a person, uh, particularly to an elder. And um, there are many um, cultural uh, symbols and, and and traditions around how to do that. And one of them is to wrap it in red cloth, as as you've said. And there you go. So yeah, there, there's there's just a real richness that um, I find in the indigenous tradition around prayer because it's tangible. So it's taking something tangible and relating it to that which is perhaps not as tangible. So the, the idea of love, the idea of spirit, it's, 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 unifying them so that's i find so so beautiful and and uh, yeah there are lots of ways to um to pray and and in fact um elizabeth i think you have a picture of albert elder albert dumont using tobacco in a in a ceremonial way so he's praying 
in that picture. And it's very, very unusual to receive permission from an Indigenous person to take a picture of a ceremony. So we're, we're deeply grateful to you, Albert, for letting us use this picture and offering the tobacco to the water as a way of offering prayer is is one of the and and you know Elizabeth this is just such an amazing experience to to allow that form of prayer into your life i find that all different cultures have different ways of praying and this one that i'm learning about this in many different ways of praying um from the indigenous culture enriches my relationship to creator, my relationship to spirit. Thank you, Maureen. That's a wonderful explanation of, of tobacco and the other sacred medicines and uh, the role that they play in indigenous uh, spirituality. So thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me.